Hey guys, Maverick from Maverick PC Gaming. Coming to you again with another showcase video. Um, apparently, I, uh, you know, I got a reply from the original requester of the video saying uh, that he wanted me to do a video of my settings, which uh, apparently I thought I did, and I guess I didn't, or he said that I went too fast. So I'm going to do another showcase video with... I guess a much slower approach now he said um, you know I want you to do a video of your Kubuntu set up uh, so I'm gonna explain this again I'm on Arch Linux um, you can use KDE the K desktop environment in Arch Linux or Ubuntu when you're using KDE in Ubuntu it's called Kubuntu it's exactly the same the distro is different okay so if you go in my about system I'm using Arch Linux, okay? KDE Plasma version 5.7.2. That does not mean that what I'm saying in this video does not apply to anyone else using the KDE desktop environment, especially if you're using the exact same version that I'm using. So if you download Kubuntu 16.04 right now, assuming that um, the uh, Kubuntu group has kept up with the Plasma version, you'll have the same exact Plasma version, and if not, you'll have 5.6 or 5.5. Regardless of which Plasma version you're using, you can still use my settings, okay? So I'm going to go through a very um, detailed and hopefully slower system demonstration and settings so that, you know, I, I mean, I, I, I thought I was pretty clear last time, but I guess it wasn't clear enough. So, uh, okay, here we go. So I am on Arch Linux, KDE desktop environment, Plasma version 5.7.2. Okay. Um, what I do have here, up here, this up here, with, in Windows would be called a taskbar, is called a panel. The way that I get this panel to look like this was these scroll bars here, all you do is you adjust them until you get them to be the length that you want them to be. Very simple, okay? Um, this would move the um, taskbar in or the panel in if um, you were stretched out all the way to the end. So you tinker with them as much as you can. And then this right here, just adjust the alignment, all right? Um, so what I do here is go to more settings and I center it. And there it is. So it stays centered. Everything stays centered um, because I'm not using the full screen for this panel. Now, the widgets that I have on this panel are the system tray, which will come on this panel by default. When you set up your KDE desktop environment, so if you're using Kubuntu, that will already be on there. It's not going to look exactly like this because you're going to have the default theme. I will show you what theme I am using again. Okay, So this is a widget called system tray. This is a widget called digital clock. This is a widget called the icons only task manager now by default panels in the K desktop environment are not going to come with the icons only task manager they're going to come with a, another task manager which is more uh, Windows Vista type where you'll see the icon but you will also see the name of the application I don't like that uh, only per se because I know what I have open so I don't need it to read exactly what um, it just takes up more space on the panel than I like. So I take that off um, when I go ahead and press the little wrench. Okay, You press this wrench, then this bar comes out, and you can adjust whatever. And then you just go ahead and press that X and get rid of it. And then I add by adding widgets. And then when it comes up, I'll just search, and I would say icons only task manager, and I double click it. I'm not going to do it again because then it will just add another icons only task manager. Okay, Moving on. Here is the application launcher, which again will be uh, there by default, but uh, I did not um, have this because I'm using Arch Linux, but it'll have the default um, KDE symbol. So all you do is go to the application launcher settings, you press this button, and you choose whatever image you want, so long as it's a PNG file format, uh, you can use it as a start button. I'm obviously using the Arch Linux logo because I'm using Arch. Okay. Coming down here, this was a panel. What I did was I added this panel, and I added an empty panel. So basically, with an empty panel, okay, 
what happens is you're going to see this. You won't see any of these icons. These are all my customization. Okay. What you're going to get, like I showed you a few seconds ago, is if you add a panel and it's blank, you're just going to get this. See how this looks? Okay. You're going to want to go ahead and add whatever you want to add to it. So if I go ahead and find an application, what I did down here was I physically dragged applications to the panel. And you see how it appears there? And then it'll stay there until you physically remove it. Now you can launch the applications from there and do whatever you want. Now more specifically for my panel down here, now I want to get rid of this panel, right? So I have to find the setting that says more settings, okay? And then remove this panel. And now it's gone because I don't want that panel. I don't need it. So it'll be a blank panel, right? And you drag it. Now when you want to get rid of these widgets, all I do is go ahead and say remove this icon and boom, it's gone. And you can undo it and you can ignore whatever. Now, these are all my applications. I have Google Chrome, I have Steam, Play on Linux, Discover Software Center, which is immensely helpful when it comes to software updates, uh, Transmission and KTorrent, BitTorrent clients, Cheese for my webcam, uh, Vocal Screen, which is what I'm using to record this video right now, Audacity for audio recordings, Caden Live for video editing, Spectacle for screenshots, uh, GIMP, which is my Linux uh, Photoshop substitute, so to speak, VLC, Clementine, which is a music player, Dolphin, which is my file manager, Console, which is my terminal, Pulse Audio for different audio um, settings, Alsa, which I don't like as much, but sometimes it has proven to be helpful on occasion, uh, KMix Sound Mixer, my system settings, my SysGuard, which is a system monitor, and my partition manager. Okay. Now, all of these were individually dragged onto this panel. The only other thing I have here is an application dashboard when I'm trying to get more in depth and trying to see a bigger uh, view of what it is that I have on the computer. Um, this is a dashboard. You can actually add this as a widget too. What you do is you go in here, add widgets, and you just type in dashboard. And you'll find it there. Then you click it and it'll show up. Now I change the settings on this. It'll come again with a default KDE logo. You just uh, click the little folder here. You search for whatever um, image you want. Uh, preferably a PNG file format, and there you go. I have slightly different Arch logos. This is for my dashboard. This is for my launcher. Okay. The only other thing I have here on this panel is a trash can, which is another widget, and a system load viewer. This shows my RAM, CPU, and temperatures. Uh, I want to say this one actually never goes up, so I don't know that it works well. Uh, but this is this is definitely uh, my CPU, the one all the way to the left, and the one in the middle is the RAM, uh, which would be physical memory and swap. At the end, this is supposed to be a temperature monitor, but I never see it going up, so you know it is what it is. But and finally, a trash can widget. So again, if you want to add that widget, it's not going to come by default. You're not going to find a trash can anywhere except inside of Dolphin in the left column. So if you want to add it for convenience, just type in trash. When you're adding widgets, double click it and boom, it'll be right there. And then it's very simple. You just empty it when you want to empty stuff and there it is. Okay. If you want the link to the background that I'm using, I am going to include it in the description below. Now, um, not trying to sound impatient, but you know, this is as slow as anyone is going to do a system demonstration, guys. And this, this is really actually only for one person because he asked me to do a video and I did it and he apparently didn't understand or said I was going too fast for him. So, uh, you know, so I did another one because, you know, I, I do appreciate my viewers. But uh, that's it. Uh, uh, besides that, uh, the theme that I'm using is called OxyZone. We'll double check here. The desktop theme is, yep, OxyZone. So that is also not going to come by default with the KDE desktop. You're going to have the regular Plasma KDE desktop. So what you do is you just get new theme, okay, and go in here if you really like it and say OxyZone. And then after you type it in, it should be at the bottom. And every time I come in here, it asks me to install, even though I've installed this theme, I already have it installed. But for some reason, my system doesn't like to acknowledge that I have it installed. That's it, okay. Um, my cursor theme is the polar cursor theme. So again, you can just get new theme, search polar, and once you, you know you get your uh, your choices, you go down and here it is right here. Okay. So 
you know, my, my laptop does like to acknowledge that I do have this cursor theme installed, but it doesn't like to acknowledge that I have the, uh, you know, the workspace theme installed. So, you know, go figure. But other than that, guys, that's it. There's really no magic to it. KDE is highly customizable. If actually, you know, in all my experience using Linux distros, it's one of the most customizable. I won't say the most because, you know, I'm not the know-it-all Linux guy. But in my experience, it's definitely one of the most customizable desktop environments because in GNOME, you know, you can only have the one panel, you know, and then, you, you know, you do have Dash to Dock and some other cool stuff. But what I love about KDE is that I don't need to use any docks. I don't need to use anything because your panels are so super customizable that you can literally never have any use for a dock whatsoever, i.e. Cairo dock or docky or Plank. You don't need any of that stuff. You know, Plank is like the one that comes default in elementary OS. Um, or, or like Cairo Doc, which is, or no, actually OS 10 comes standard with Rocket Doc. You know, not a lot of people know that because, uh, Apple likes to make it seem like that's their proprietary software, but it's actually not. Um, Rocket Doc is, uh, you know, Rocket Doc is actually a third party software that OS 10 just embeds in all of its, uh, all of its distributions and they, they just make it look like that's Apple software, but it's really not. You can use that doc in any, you know, Windows, whatever. Um, so, but anything other than that, guys, like I said, if you have anything more specific, I, you know, I think I've been pretty specific, you know, uh, but if you have any other questions, guys, please feel free to let me know. I hope that this video has been a little bit more specific, a little bit more clear. Uh, like I said, this is Arch Linux, but the system settings are all KDE. The, in the, the the kernel, what's working in the background, has nothing to do with my settings because this is exactly how my desktop looked when I was using um, Kubuntu. It is th the exact same down to the applications, down to the background, down to the theme. Because when you're working with customization, most of what you're doing, the meat and potatoes of what you're doing, has everything to do with desktop environment and very rarely anything to do with the actual distro itself because I can be using KDE on, on, on Mint or uh, Ubuntu or Arch or basically any distro that will support it and I can make it look like this on any distro, okay? Um, so like I, what I don't want is for it to get another response and say, well, can you do it on Kubuntu? It's not, uh, this is exactly what you do. If you want Kubuntu, use Kubuntu. Ubuntu is a great, the team canonical, those guys are all amazing people. It's the same thing, all right? As always, this is Maverick from Maverick PC Gaming and saying thank you. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you out there.